That's ridiculous. You the living oh, hand. Oh, hello. Hello. Welcome to Persons on Film, formerly known as Man, Man on, on movie. movie. Welcome to Man on Movie. No, Persons on Movie. Persons. Today's episode is a movie we I am the new host, um, and this is my co host, Ben. Great to have me back. I'm the lead host. And I'm the, now the co-host. Um, Persons on Movie. For Man on Movie, the film show. Uh, this week we are reviewing a documentary called Blackfish. 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 It's... Go, no, go on. It's a treacherous, heartbreaking film. Did you just... No, it was just my stomach just grow a little bit. Blackfish, also known as orcas. He's having indigestion. I just ate eggs. There, it's just regular digestion. You know who has indigestion? Whales in captivity. Whales in captivity. That's what this film is about. Blackfish. The uh, whales in captivity. They have uh, their dorsal fins are uh, yeah. flaccid, which is a huge metaphor. No one likes to be flaccid. No, and they're not flaccid in the wild. Only about 1% of them in the wild are flaccid. And uh, it's amazing that we can uh, come in here and talk to people about this film, because we saw this film over a month ago. And But uh, we can still educate people on the terrors of this film, such as the scene where uh, one of the whales takes a man by the foot, his trainer, and he drags him to the bottom of uh, the pool, which is really, really deep. It's not like a swimming pool. Although, it must feel like a swimming pool because it's really small, because a whale's really big, but people are really small, so it would feel like a... Okay, so he drags his foot to, like, the bottom of the pool, and he just, like, holds him down there for, like, minutes and minutes. And the guy's, like, a really good diver, so he can... He, he's, like, surviving and... He's sur... He's surviving, Bye. and then the whale brings him back up, and he's like... <gasps> uh, like, breathes, and then when he thinks the torture's over, the whale does it again. Over and over and over. He drags him to the bottom of the pool and holds him there. And brings him up and drags him down. Just like toying with him. And then finally the man swims away and escapes. And they like put a net up so like that he could swim on the other side of the net. And the um whale like finally lets him go. And, uh, and then the whale sees the man like swimming away. And he's like chases him. And like swims over the net because he's an unstoppable orca. And then the man is like swims and runs away and gets away finally, but like the orca wanted blood. It's, it's not the orca's fault. Whose fault is it, Ben? It's the fault of the trainers, and I want to say that this movie taught me that uh, SeaWorld is uh, cruel to animals, and then I think it's time to set all of the uh, everyone free. All of the trainers and uh, it's Set all of the trainers free into the wild, the ones that can no. still hop over the fence. If they can't hop over the fence, they're already too injured to live out here in the wild, and they should keep their jobs at SeaWorld, where they torture uh, giant, majestic, beautiful animals that belong uh, in much bigger pools like uh, the ocean. That is one thing you said that's true. I'm going to give this movie um, two thumbs up for... Uh, not that I like the depiction of, of real whale. It's basically a blooper reel of people being tortured by whales. But the the people have really been torturing the whales, too. And it's uh, the people at SeaWorld are uh, just pretty much criminals. And I They're all criminals. They should all go to whale jail. Whale jail. And the, in whale jail, though, they should have to be uh, with whales. And whales will torture them. But then you would have to have whales in captivity in order to accomplish that. So maybe you should just be like, they have to watch whale videos. Maybe they should have to go live in the ocean. and that's Oh, their they job. should have to live in the ocean. No, wait, they should have to live in a bathtub. Yep. That's I it. like the ocean no, idea, they, and I no, think no. all uh, violent criminals in America should actually be released into the ocean, and that's my opinion. That's dumb. So two thumbs up, though, for standing up to big, corporate, weird, awful sea world. Don't ever, just don't ever boycott it. Just don't ever go there again, seriously. Yeah, it's really awful and terrible and wrong. And it's everything that's wrong with how um, humans interact with the environment. Um, the 
that and um, also uh, coal burning power plants and strip mining and uh, child labor and uh, sex trafficking and um... I, th I think this movie brings up uh, deeper points too other than just the documentary aspects I mean I think really what this is about is these people love whales so much they don't realize that the whales are mistreated and it's really just a classic story of uh, loving something that uh, that doesn't love you back why are you looking at me I was just uh, waiting for your rating uh, because my rating is um, I don't I have I don't have a rating. This movie can um, go suck my toe. So two th because it made me cry a lot, and after I left the theater and went my separate way from my party, I cried. And Krista was there too. Oh, Krista! There's a fly. Your dirty bathroom. I cried. I cried on the way home. Like, not because I felt bad for the whale. Yes, largely because I felt bad for the whale. But also because I had to watch an hour and a half of whales. Which, by the way, I'm like insanely, insanely afraid of whales. And it was too much. I spent half the movie like this, and I'm like, tell me when I can look. Tell me when I can look. It's not a joke. I'm not being funny. I'm really afraid of whales. And it was really traumatizing. What are you looking at? Oh, I thought the episode had ended because it's already been six and a half minutes. Okay, join us next time when we review a random horror film that we found at a red box. The Depraved. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you at the beach. And then at the movies. Yeah. Okay. Uh.